This week's video, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to get big, sexy, curly hair. And I'm on my way downtown, so I thought it'd be a perfect time to show you guys. Um, so a few things first, I just washed my hair a few hours ago, and I used two mousses when I wanna get really big, voluptuous hair. So the first mousse I use is the Tresemme's 24 Hour Body Foaming Mousse. It looks like this. I use this mousse only on the roots, so I get a nice big glob in my hands and distribute it right into my roots and really get into there all around. And then I use Aussie's Catch the Wave Mousse and Leave-In Conditioner, and it's got a really light, flexible hold. And I love this one because it makes my um, hair really soft and it gives it this kind of like wavy, well it's not super wavy, but just kind of PC effect so it looks like beach waves. So it just gives it a nice base before you start curling your hair. So I highly recommend these two mousses to start out with. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is separate my hair so that only one section is showing. So I'm gonna tie up my hair like this. So section off the top half. Now you don't want your bottom section that you're gonna curl first to be too thick because it's not gonna hold the curl. So this is about how much I left. So what I like to do is start from the back and head towards the front of my face. So I section out a small piece in the back and then bring the rest of my hair forward. So you should have a piece about this big in the back that you're gonna start out with. So my favorite curling iron of all time is gonna be the Hot Tools just basic curling iron and this is a one and a half inch barrel. Um, this gets super hot really fast and it really maintains a curl for hours. So I highly recommend this curling iron. Also you don't want to have a curling iron that's too small because you want really big sexy curls. So you want that nice round barrel to give you that nice uh, wavy effect. All right, now on to actually curling your hair. So you have your section of hair and there's a few important things you need to know. Um, you're gonna unloosen the clamp and you're gonna start mid shaft and the key thing to remember is that you wanna curl in the direction of the curling iron. So I'm gonna get up close here. As you can see, the barrel's turning this way. So you do not wanna roll this way because you're not following the barrel. You wanna make sure you're continuing that sh direction. Because if you curl in the opposite direction, you're gonna have a really big crease and it's gonna go literally like this and then like turn that way. So you wanna make sure you always follow the direction of the barrel, okay? and then you loosen up the clamp to wind the hair in to the barrel like that. Then you could roll up. And what I like to do is you could touch lightly, be careful, um, and when it gets pretty warm, then that's when you know you can release. So about like eight to 10 seconds. And then when you release, try not to tug, because you want to make sure that that curl maintains its shape and it's nice and loose. So we're just gonna lightly open it up like that. And now you have like a nice pretty curl like that. And see you have a nice loose curl and then I like to take it and bring it to the back. So all the pieces that I haven't done yet are going to be right here in the front. So you can keep the nice curls in the back and keep this hair separated. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this layer. And this is personal preference, but I like the curls that are gonna be near your face to be fan outward. I just think it looks a little more romantic and it just really frames your face and makes it really open. But if you do decide to do the curls facing away, you make sure on this side you're going this way and on this side you're going this way. Always wind the curling iron in the direction away from your face. Now after I've done the first layer, I like to bring them in the back and have a smaller clip and kind of clamp them together so they don't get mushed up with the rest of your layers. So after you've done your first layer and it's pinned off in the back, you can let your hair down, section off another layer, and clip in the top. And the reason why you work from the bottom up is because you want to create volume. So instead of curling your hair when it's all down, it's gonna look really flat. Um, you want to do it in layers. So you're creating curl over curl over curl. So you have this really beautiful like cascading effect when you're done.
Okay, and after you're done, you're gonna release the clip on the bottom. And it should look something like this. I like to use my fingers and kind of go through the roots to loosen up the curls. And then you can either do two things. You can either spray the hairspray directly onto the curls, or what I like to do is actually spray my hands. And then I scrunch the tips like this. It just makes it less crispy, and it still has like a really nice hold. And from my experience, it lasts all night still, so I like this way a lot better. And then lastly, I like to do just directly under the fingertips and run it through the roots to give it a little more volume. Alright, so that does it for my video for this week. If you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. Other than that, I hope you guys are having an awesome month, and I'll talk to you guys soon.